Hey everybody, it's Megan and this video is going to be kind of different from all the other videos that I have out. This is going to be about um, my favorite things and the first video is like my makeup stuff that I have that I like a lot right now and um, or that I have liked for years now that I'll show you guys. So the first thing I'm going to show you is by Neutrogena and I've been using Neutrogena products forever. But um, I just recently started using their um, oil-free acne wash pink grapefruit foaming scrub. And I don't know if you can see, but it's been used quite a bit. And this is uh, was awarded a Lore um, Reader's Choice Award winner. So it was a winner in Allure 2009. So it really works. It scrubs my skin really good. Huh? Huh? Oh yeah, Shavante. Um, I keep saying we keep saying her real name. I don't know if she was. Mix Vixen did a review on this on her channel, and I did a re review on this on my channel from watching her video. So I can put a link down to her video as well. But it scrubs my skin, and it works really good, and I like it. I did a review on this already, so I'm not gonna go in detail. And I also use that I love that's my favorite is their oil free moisturizer for um, sensitive skin and that's what I use on my skin to make it like smooth and like not shiny and oil free. I use an oil free one. I have dry skin but I use the one for oil free because I don't want to look greasy. Because I know the other one tends to make me greasy and I know that for sure it used to make me greasy. So this is the uh, Neutrogena. Oil free sensitive skin one, so it's one with the purple tab. I have a list down of all these products that I'm showing in this video too. And the next one is my MAC Fix Plus, and I love this especially for the summertime. Even when I don't wear makeup, it's like hot outside, I'll just like spray my face. Like, uh, yes. And it just refreshes your face with a nice mist. I might do a video, a separate video about uh, Fix Plus and the ways that I use it. Because I know some people may not be familiar with Fix Plus. I don't see who wouldn't be familiar with Fix Plus. But you know, people are. some people are new to makeup. And everyone was new at one point in time and don't, didn't know what Fix Plus is. But I love this stuff. And it, I use it to refresh, refresh my face and duify my face and my shadows. Like everybody else probably already knows. And, uh-oh. I love my MAC Studio Fix Powder that I use as my foundation. I use it for light to full coverage. And my color is C8. And I'm obviously panned right now. I have to get another one. So since this one was panned, I went ahead and bought um, the Mineralized Skin Finish. And I am dark. And I use that today. I don't know if you can really tell a difference. The sun's going down, so you can't really tell what my skin looks like. But uh, I use these two together. So I put this on first and then this. And I'll do a video about these two too. But love mineralized skin finish, especially for the summertime. That's why I got it mainly for the summertime because it's lighter. Um, from MAC also, um, I love Ambering Rose, which is a like an everyday blush which is this and I have that one now I don't know if you can see it but I have on this blush now and I love it it's a what is this it's a shimmer tone shimmer blush so it's not matte so it gives you some kind of shine she is talking throughout my video and the next thing that I will show is by MAC as well and this was the very first lip glass that I got which was en Enchantress and I wear this a lot here on my channel so this is my favorite lip gloss like my number one I go to this one's almost gone and then my second favorite is um, Lady Gaga's Viva Glam lip glass so that is that one that I like and the, this product that I'm about to show that I've loved for years, which is, um, who was that? What he want? Huh? Oh. 
And then um, the next thing is Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. And I've been using this since I was like 15. And this is the pink wand, of course, but it's curved. So I love it. I don't use all that extra fancy, you know, mascaras. This is the mascara that I have on now. You probably can't see, but I like this stuff. It never fails me, and I just love it. And this is the blackest black of the Great Lash Maybelline Mascara. So I use the curved one. And by Revlon, this is my favorite right now. This is a Revlon lipstick, and the color that I really like is um, Serene. Or is it Serene or is it Siren? I can't read today, but it's number 677, and it's a nice kind of orange color. Great for summertime. I don't know how it's showing up here on camera, but I've worn this in a video before. Um, and I just love it. It's great for summer. And this trend right now is like an orange coral lips. I have a little bit on right now, but um, it's a cream. It's a cream. So I didn't layer it the way you can layer it. I just kind of blotted it on because I didn't want a full co coverage of color. So I really like this. Maybe I'll swatch it. Probably won't even be able to see it. So that's how it looks on. It's really sheer. And the next thing is I got this uh, clear lip gloss from, um, was it Walgreens? And this is the In Color by Jordana Squeeze and Shine Super Shiny Tasty Lip Gloss. I don't know about it being tasty, but it makes my lips really shiny. And I have that on my lips right now. And it makes it like super duper shiny. So and it's really cheap. It's, it was a dollar ninety nine, I think. A dollar ninety nine. I lost. I had two of these. I lost my other one. And then my all time favorite chapstick because I always have like a fixation with my lips. I feel like there always has to be something on my lips. I don't like having dry lips because it feels really gross. I used to wear Carmex, but I wore that more in the summertime, but now that it's about, I mean, I wore that more in the wintertime, but now since it's about to be summer, I like to use chapstick in the cherry flavor. This has been around for years, so no one's new to this. This isn't, this isn't an inside scoop like, yes, the new cherry chapstick. <laughs> no, this has been around for years. I've been using this since I was a kid, too, so just the regular chapstick. Now, the brushes that are my favorite set, if I lose these, I don't know what I would do with myself. And this first brush I'm going to show you is by Crown Brush. Uh, and this is the Pro Blending Fluffs, Fluff. So this is the C40, C433 brush. And um, it's kind of dirty right now, but that's what it looks like. And I use that a lot in my crease, so it blends out everything really nice. So I really love this brush. And I'll put a website, the website down where I purchased this from. So pretty much um, you can check out all the brushes that they have on there. And the other brush that I got from Crown Brush is the C407, and this is the Jumbo Shadow Brush. And I use this on a daily basis. Like, It's like your one-stop shop. You can use this on your lid, and then you can blend out your edges like that because it's so big. And you can use it under your brow bone. So it's like you can use this one brush for everything. So that's what it looks like, and I love it. And the last brush that I'm going to show you is a... Oh, the writing rubbed off this is a studio tools concealer brush and I use this on my brows so I use my concealer and you know it's really good for you know putting that concealer underneath your brows to shape it up and I use that for my concealer to put underneath my eye and for contour like that with my concealer so I really love this brush so hopefully that wasn't boring that was my favorite thing as far as makeup now I'm gonna do another video about my favorite hair products. So depending on which um, order this is uploaded, uploaded, you'll see this. So thanks for watching. All products will be down in the bottom bar and put your comments and questions down in the bottom bar and I'll try to answer those for you. Oh, one more thing. Albatross is my favorite, favorite, favorite highlight right now. If I can open it. So it's Albatross. One last thing for highlighting. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.